this? in caviar, doesn't it? How oh, would I yeah. give you caviar? Like, of course I wouldn't. This is a of trend called not. molecular gastronomy. And for those of us that may not eat meat or whatever, the, this is the trendy kind of thing that's happening in restaurants today where they're actually using, believe it or not, seaweed. So what you have in your hands are just little tiny balls of seaweed. It's called sodium alginate. And uh, really? I'll show you how the whole thing develops, all right? So you throw that there if you want to, and I'll, I'll show you how it works. Okay. First of all, we just start with water. And over here, I wanted you to show everybody the, uh, the crystals. This is called calcium chloride. It's the same ingredient in pickle juice, believe it or not. So just two scoops oh, in there. Oh, really? And you're set. Two scoops? Yeah, just kind of throw it in there, two scoops, and that's it. So this is really kind of a, po you know, we've talked about polymers before, but right. this is a polymerization inside the water. And so what you see here is seaweed. So this is called sodium alginate. Okay. So as soon as this touches the water, we get this wonderful reaction. So here, watch what happens. As soon as it goes into the water, you can't see it. It looks like nothing happens. Now reach no. in and take it out. Oh my Isn't goodness. That amazing? Look at that. Isn't that fun? So, so the moment quickly. it touches, yeah. And so now you can color it. So here, take the blue that's over there. I'll trade you with this. Take the blue and squirt the blue into there. Kind of go all the way around and squirt it around, squirt it around. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? So oh. the moment it touches, now you can pull it out and you get this beautiful kind of uh, stringy effect, almost like a spaghetti. But it's really solid in the in the middle. So if you look at it here, look at what we just did. This is solid yes. in the middle, or it's solid on the outside, but it's still a liquid in the middle and so what chefs are doing is they're putting flavorings in the sodium alginate don't eat this because this is stuff that's been sitting around the lab but real chefs yeah. are putting flavoring in there and then they're just changing it so like this is a little bit blue so here watch here in the very middle watch what happens it's almost like spaghetti that comes out there's <gasps> oh. the hit Isn't that amazing so the moment goes in and it's there you almost get like angel hair pasta yeah, so it's all about the presentation <laughs> anyway, is. isn't it? Well, I'm not when sure you you're going to eat that in the first place, right? But still. You now watch yeah. this. This I love this one here. So in the very middle here, when this gets turned over again, it's still that same kind of goo that's there. But when you drip into the very middle like this, it forms perfect little spheres. And so this is the secret to making the caviar. Isn't that fun? So you see a lot of it right now kind of showcased on the Food Network, and we were fortunate a couple of years ago to have the producers from one of the Food Network shows come to our, <laughs> our lab here in Englewood and be yeah. able to see some of it. A big push right now is liquid nitrogen. So if you head down to the place on Pearl Street, um, there was this wonderful smoothie place that does um, liquid nitrogen milkshakes. And so that's part of a molecular gastronomy. And you're supposed to use power tools, and you're supposed to use uh, a drill and liquid nitrogen to freeze the ice cream. Uh -huh. If you go to H Burger, you can have the same kind of thing but now we just kind of scoop these out and so there are your little caviar eggs oh, that were there before and you've got it Isn't that amazing now yeah. i can't tell you that they taste fantastic but flavored correctly i, I think they would be uh pretty sure. darn good and it's all about the presentation so when they're doing kind of strange things here let me try this when they're doing strange things with them like this you can kind of see what happens this has almost looks like that green that's in the lake you know, the it river. does. It looks exactly and like contrary the green to popular slime. belief, it was not me. I promise you, it was not me. Although this <laughs> looks a out there whole saying, lot oh, I'll like try it. Try a little experiment. Isn't that amazing? But it's all how they color it, it's how they flavor it, and you get these wonderful little concoctions that you see here using that uh, concept called molecular gastronomy. So what a cool way to get kids kind of thinking and talking about food Look and science. And who doesn't like to make some some uh, stringy little. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one right uh, there. Watch this. Who nice doesn't like to make stringy. these worms using that See, this that is sodium perfect alginate. for Halloween, too. Isn't that great? Yeah. So the next time you go to that trendy restaurant, and I know you're always going to those that, kids. Oh, yeah, that's you know, me. Because you, yeah, you and I don't have kids that are there. No, if they don't have chicken <laughs> fingers on the menu, I am not there. Cheese, that's exactly <laughs> what it's like. So I'm not sure that the kids are going to eat this, but this is how gummy worms are made. This oh, is, This see? is the secret I to gummy, gummy worms, worms and gummy bears. So, I put so it all I can online. can we see this again? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, that's fine.